It's like the eclipse of the moon and the sun. Hey. Night falling in a broad daylight. What am I hearing? Hmm. Is it true? It is true indeed. Hi! Hey. It's true indeed. I'm just coming back from the palace. It hey. happened this morning. Has it actually happened? It has happened. The caterpillar and the juggernaut has packed up. So it has actually happened. In Kiruka, it has happened. You come here. The great Iroko tree has fallen. Ew. Our great Okofia has joined his fatherland. Oh no, Wakugo. Hmm. What is the next step? Huh? Hey! Go and tell the other guards what I just said. Okay, my queen. My queen, yes. please, Okadibo and his wife are back. Okadibo, okay. yes. Hey! Okadibo, okay, mom! Hey! Abun Nia! Abun Nia! Mama? Hmm? What is this thing that I hear? <sighs> We've left everything in the hands of God. What can we do? So, what happened? How did he die? Okadibo. You know, your father's heart condition has been getting worse for the past few months. Well, as his doctor said, his heart broke down. And he died peacefully in his sleep. At least it was peaceful. At least, thank God. My children, with that we can console ourselves. Where's his body? He has been buried yesterday. Without us? My son, that is the tradition. That is how it is done. <laughs> My king's man, Joshua. <laughs> to whom do I own this unexpected visit? <laughs> uh, it's not a thing of joy, all that. Uh, something terrible happened in the village. Joshua, Okofia, your brother, has joined his ancestors. So he has died at last. He never thought it would happen. He has forgotten that every man would die, no matter how much they try to improve their lives, at the expense of others. So you're talking to yourself. We even thought you were talking to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> we know you're well read. But this is not the time to start talking to yourself like a retired principal. 
the mantle of the Okofia has fallen on your shoulders. And this, your shoulders are broad enough to carry it. Yes. And what makes you think I will accept it? After all my brother did to me when he became the Okofia, and none of you did anything about it. Please, please! Huh? Nkiruka! <laughs> Joshua! Eh? We are not here to quarrel! Joshua! Besides, it's a thing of honor. How can you not accept it? Then watch me reject it. Mbano! Hey, Joshua! Mbano! If you accept to be the next Ogovia, you will not be accepting it because of anything your brother did to you or how he drove you out of the kingdom. You will be accepting it for the common Okovia man and woman. Joshua, Okovia needs you now. Okovia needs you now. Eh? All right, all right, all right. I've heard you. But I'm making no promises. Mbano! <laughs> hey! Joshua, just promise us that you will sleep on the matter. Hmm? Just promise us. Very well. So let's think about it. Hey! No cuckoo! Much better. Much better. Now that we know what now we have a message to, well, to, to send to home, eh? <laughs> We should be on our way. We should be on our way. Hmm? This <laughs> world. How it is done, my son. An Eze must be buried immediately, for his body must not see corruption upon the earth before he follows his ancestors. Um, it's a most interesting theory, here, really interesting. But how come he was not taken to the mortuary? Is is the natural thing to do? <laughs> Um, my son, uh, when a body is preserved in that manner, it has seen corruption of the white man's code and the mammy. It is no longer an unblemished body. Well, it's a most interesting theory, Chi. Really interesting. How come I wasn't taught all of this in time? I mean, I feel so lost now. Uh, you are not to be blamed. Hmm. You grew up why schooling abroad? Uh, you are not ubiquitous. You couldn't be there and here at the same time. Mm. Well, very well then. I feel a lot better. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Okay. There are other things I want to see.
that's true, my child. But well, I suppose I'm going to run it back now. Hmm. You need it, but you know I wouldn't want you to come. <laughs> I know that's your problem. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Do you know what? As soon as I finish, I'll come back and meet you. Make it snappy. Come on. Nice thought, honey. Oh, yeah. Mama. I wouldn't know. Huh? Can't do myself. Mama. You're welcome. Thank God you came back on time. Mm. There is something I want to tell you. Yes, ma'am. Son, I desire that you take control of this kingdom. I mean, the entire Okofia kingdom. Remember, your father is no longer alive. And as you know, you are the heir to the throne. Mama? Yes, my son. How, how do I do it? Good. Good question. First, I want you to take charge of the offer. It is the symbol of authority of this land. By so doing, you begin to ascend the throne of your father. Did I communicate here? Crystal. Good. Papa? Yes, my dear. I do not understand why you have suddenly decided to go back to that place after everything they did to you. My elder brother, who did all that to me, is no longer alive. Okofia need me. And for Okofia, I will throw away all my grudges and return. They are my people. Your people? Your people, Papa. Where were these same your people when you struggled to act out and you became employed as a teacher? Where were these same your people when your brother threw you out of, of, of your own father's land? Where were they? Now they have suddenly remembered to need you, your people. They were helpless, my child. Besides, we will not get better if everyone continue to retaliate on past wrongs. Someone has to take a positive step. But does it have to be you, Papa? Eh? Must it be you? Let them manage their kingdom and their kingship. Eh? Let them carry it and go. We are just fine. You will not understand. No, that. Papa. No. Don't tell me that one. It's you who does not understand that going back to that place is not a positive step for you. Eh? It is a very dangerous step for Keep you. Keep quiet, mm. Dorothy. But Papa, I said quiet. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yes, it is. I have to be on the ground. Of course, it's pretty nice. Of course, of course. 
Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I can't feel this, man. My brother really furnished this place very well. Exactly. Let's check the other side. Yes, but I mean, like the money, I, okay, you know what? I don't want to. I will, I will, I will make some fun. With it. You have to. I'm not going to spare you this time around. I'm just tell you. There's a coronation about how you look, good you look, or about the people. Of course. You need to be a queen. Oh, please. You have to go about this time. I'm going to stay very long. Oh, Kalibo! What do you think you're doing? You're here in Nazi. Why don't you show your father's rebellious brother? Parades himself through the palace with the chiefs, and you're here relaxing. Where you actually belong. <laughs> eh? I will summon the meetings of elders so mm -hmm. we can start a way forward. Uh, and when is that going to be? Anytime, anytime, very soon. Maybe in a few days. Sure. Mm. Good afternoon, Akadibu. Have a seat. Thank you, man. Akadibu. Yes. Is this Akadibu? He's so big. Yes. Hey. Oh, it's a, it's a pleasure you came at this time. Right time. Um, Kadibu, you meet your uncle, Joshua Udoka, the youngest brother to your father. Ichiokuko. So this is the imposter that came to the palace today. Yes, the imposter. You see, earlier today, the elders brought a certain imposter to check the throat of my father. Well, since you're here, there's no need to complain to you anymore, Chiyokuko. I'll handle it the old-fashioned way, man to man. Now you, you might have known me when I was small. But what I've become now is what you do not want to know. Men like you that have crossed me always end up one way, six feet down. And believe me, I do not make idle threats. And I don't make mistakes. Ask of me. And you receive in abundance. I have spoken. Oh, God, you Hey! Come on, 
It has come to that. Hmm? It has come to this point now. So this is where it is now. Where a man that's never set foot on this soil since he was born returns just because he's late brother. Look, Okadibo. I am speaking. When I speak, it will do you well to listen. So shut up. Okay, okay. Now, as I was saying before, this senile old man interrupted me. It has come to that point where my father, my father's immense contribution to this community will come and go just like that. I know how you improved your individual low lives to what you are right now. And then you forget it in the flimsy. Instead of you making it easy for me, the hair apparent to this throne that I sit on, to ascend without problems. And instead, you parade and lord over a non-entity that entered this place. To the point that you brought him to this palace to inspect my throne behind my back. Okay, but I would like to speak. Speak. Um, when we came into the palace, we asked after you. Um, the, your boys said you had gone out with your wife. Yes. We thought uh, you, could, uh, you would have called our attention as soon as he returned. Eh? You thought. Jesus, if You thought. That is the problem right here. Every time all of you think mistakes happen, I'm the only one that's allowed to think in this community. And I think that anybody in one way or the other does not support my ambition to ascend this throne of my forefathers is automatically my enemy. No. This meeting has come to an end. I have spoken. Okay, my son. Okay, okay, my son. My son? Don't you know what your son look like? I am not your son. Hear me? Go and look for your son. Take our book you get bound. You are there when this was happening to me. Order one more word and I'll have your head. Okay? Okay, you my son. Okay? Okay? Hey! Okay, I'm Bobby Nation. What is the name of Hey! What is the name of What is the name of Don't go in the name of Don't go in the name of Don't go in Oh, God, yeah. Hey, what do you mean of this? Shut up! This is my father's house! Hey, hey! 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 You have no right! Huh? My father's house! Right? I am the right and law of this land! Hey! And garbage like you belong outside the palace! Move him! Hey! 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 And make sure he stays there for life. I hope there's no problem. Yeah, Why are you no sitting problem. here in solitude? No problem, sir. Joshua, what is the matter? I You're look. looking so depressed. I lack words. <laughs> Tell me what the matter is, Joshua. You cannot be walking the streets just dressed like this for nothing. Kiroka, my brother's son threw me out of the compound. My father's house. What? Kirukae! What is the meaning of this? I'm going to Onohu's place to let him know what has been happening. Onohu is at home. That is exactly where I'm coming from. I'm going to see him. That is a very sad situation. Very shocking development. Okay. 
You've done it. My son, I say you've done it. You are a lion just like your father. A true Okofia material. Do you have doubts? Hi! If you continue like this, the throne is yours already. What nonsense are you talking about, Ichi? The throne is mine already. You performed the action. And the talker is just going around the kingdom and talking the talking. You know, they do less and talk more. All they know how to do is talk, talk, and talk. There are two kinds of people on earth, Ichi. People that talk the talk, and then people that walk the walk. I've always been a walker, I don't talk much. Very courageous of you. So apparently you made the opportunity somewhere, right? <laughs> Let me talk to you. You are in the best position to ascend the truth. All you have to do now is to press forward for advantage as the crown prince. That's right, Mama. That's exactly what I'm doing. It is also true that the crown passes in order of seniority. But Joshua, your father's cold of a brother, has already knocked himself out of contention. How? You see, he rebelled against your father's kingship and accused him of killing their elder brother. So, your father banished him from the kingdom. He ran away and influenced your father's brother's wife to do the same. He ever since then, nobody has ever heard about the woman or her own son. Is that so? Yes. So my son, as you can see, if that man is allowed to smell that room, <laughs> he's going to make life very much unbearable for us. Hmm. God forbid. Exactly, my daughter. But that eventuality can never be a possibility. Hmm. Akaribo, do you know why? Hmm. Because a banished man cannot return as a king. So as you can see, the straw belongs to you and the entire Okofia is now on your feet. So go grab it. Do not conclude, cause God has the final say. Man proposes, but God disposes. You might say a word, but can... I greet you, Mother Earth. Take this drink. I greet to the ancestors. Our ancestors, please intercede and accept our supplication to our God of God that we may see peace in our coffee life. Good morning to you, Ono. Good morning, Akadibu. I've come to your house this morning because something grave must be discussed. Considering the fact that I'm the Crown Prince of Kofia, it is within that jurisdiction I decided that I request you send me the list of requirements for kingship. Hmm. Take it easy. Take it easy. We are moving too fast and too far. In this attitude of mine and frame of mind that made you send some people to lift their uncle out of the palace. Just like that. And this is a man 
of refuge, a man that was given title by her grandfather, the real Okofia the first. Oh. Apply some bread. This is abominable. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. The mere fact that I was doing this land a favor by throwing out a banished man is banished for crying out loud. He has no place in our society nor the palace, to say the least. Listen, back to what I, I came here to discuss. I need that list in three days. Okay. I have spoken. Thank you very much, Crown Prince. you going? How come you're going down the road instead of up the road to the Uyuri uh, River? Has the river dried up? No, sir. The river has not dried up, sir. So? Uh, they are coming from uh, Oyago because the boyhood that the king of Kingdoms for us started operating yesterday. Good afternoon, my friend. Yes, good afternoon. He built you a borehole? Exactly, sir. And it's even neater than the stream water. Yes. Shut up, you moron. Who told you that? You don't know natural sources of water is cleaner than, than artificial. And who told you I was in the tears of building a borehole anyway? What's the big deal about it? Imagine the big balls on that, on that idiot telling me bo He built them a borehole. An illustrious son of this land. What his motives? I know nothing. That is the whole point. That's why I asked you away from the house, away from prying eyes, so we can discuss. And the thing is that, how are we sure he is from this land? Okay, Well. If there's one thing he has achieved beside people's goodwill, it is anonymity. Do you know? It's like an illusion. It's like an invisible man. It's like your he is standing just there, but you cannot touch him. I don't even know him very well. Ikea, why do you always choose to make things complicated? Very simple things. I asked a straight question. What is his pedigree? What is his background? What is the man's motive? Okay, well, I'm thinking that if he is not of this land, then how can one explain all the good things, every good things he's been doing for the benefit of the people? Do you know he has built a very big grammar school? And one of my sons is attending that school. That is still beside the point. Come on. Listen, I studied this political game when I was very young. I even studied it. My first degree. Yes. I've met men like him. Money bags. Extremely rich. What they do is that they come into a place like this. Where people don't know a lot. 
and then they spread their wealth all over the place to garner people's support. So as soon as the election approaches and the win, they bear their fangs, sink into the people and suck blood. These men are vultures, vampires. So don't be fooled. But in any regard, I know what to do. Don't worry. I've heard you. Can I go back home now? You cheer. Why are you always in a hurry whenever you meet with me? I, I am I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. Prince, I'm very sorry. If you want more information, I'm ready to give back. I'm, I'm content with what you've given so far. You can go if you want. My cars are parked somewhere down the road. I wanted to come here in anonymity as well. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you. happening here? It is the sharing of rights of the King of Kings. Who is the King of Kings? Yes, yeah, so every first Saturday of every month, the King of Kings normally shares three bags of rice to the women of this village. So who is he? They say he's an illustrious son of this land, you. Who bears the well-being of the people at heart? In fact, that man is very wonderful. Exercise book. Exercise book. You left the gate open. Do you realize that? Um, King of King uh, exercise book. King of King says. Is that name again? Listen, my friend. You better start making sense. I'm telling you, we arrange your dentition right now. What? What? What are you saying? Um, they are sharing it at the village uh, square. So I went there and collected for my children. He's sharing exercise books too. Uh, uh, yes, my friend. What? What is going on? With King of Kings. What is the meaning of that? What can that mean? He gives her gifts at the alarming rate, but nobody seems to know who he is. Not even my mother. Hmm. This smells of concealed ambitions. I need to get to the bottom of this quickly. Yes, that's what I must do. Into three different parts.
How can you go? I bid you good morning. Good morning, Chief. Please sit down. What can I do for you? Okay, boy. Something is happening. Something very bad is happening in this community. Okay, boy. It is about the opera that is taking place at the king of the king's secondary school. I, I, I mean, the students are rebelling against your guys. I know. So what do you want me to do about it? I can't pull them out. Okay, boy. Why did you put them there in the first place? Is it to stop the children from attending a Sunday school built by the sword of the land to afford them a better education? Ichi, I'm sure you don't expect me to answer that question, right? Okay, Nibu. Pull them out as fast as possible. I will not do no such thing, Ichi. I am the Prince of Okofia, and I will do as I please when it is necessary. No guard is leaving that secondary school until I deem it necessary. Are we clear? Okay, but listen. No, you listen to me. I've suffered enough of your impotence for one more. I suggest you move your old tired behind out of my palace fast. I'll get someone that will help you. I had of it only when my children came back from school there for yesterday. Even my wife that went to the town had of it before me. I can't understand this type of retrogressive action. I also, I gave it a thought. Honestly speaking, I cannot make out head or tail out of this. My elders. Hello, good afternoon, my son. Good, good afternoon. Please, uh, I've been looking for the house of uh, the Ono and was directed to this place. Yes, you are correct. I'm the Ono, dear sir. He of is. Okofia. He is. Good. Uh, sir, I've come to bring a big complaint before your fate. Who are you, please? My name is Mwabuaze Agui Udoka. Diorimili Atata, the king of kings, the only son of Okofia II, whom his brother assassinated and hounded the wife and child out of the kingdom. Eh? Oh, mom, I've not started to recognize you now. Just look at the copyright of his father. Oh, mom, you are welcome. You are Thank welcome. You, sir. You are welcome. Ah, let, I'm coming. Well, this a replica of the father. I remember Okofia the second. So, my son, you are the king of kings. Yes, sir. The one who built the secondary school. Yes, sir. Ukirukai. Ukirukai. As well as the pipe bomb water at Oriago Big Market. My son, this is to welcome you and give you a befitting welcome for a man of your caliber, a man who has spent so much money in developing his homeland. Exactly. And now we have seen that the mystery of the King of Kings has been solved. Including the building of secondary school, provision of waters, feeding of the old women, and feeding of the children, provision of uh, stationaries. Please, all these resources you've been spending will come back to you 700 times in the name of our Father. Amen. You know, honestly, I, <laughs> I am one of the.
I was informed from my base that the structures which I erected for a coffee by proxy for the benefit of the people we are blocked from oppression so I flew into this country to know why yes that was what I was discussing with Ichie Kiroga before you came in now mom after your father's death his brother took over the truth. He ruled for some time before he died a few weeks ago. But he had a son who took after him in behavior. And the saying goes, like father. It is this young man who has blocked all these structures. Um, oh no, my dear. Now that his father is there, I should be the next king. Well, no, please. I thought that was the tradition. Yes, you cannot be the next king unless Joshua authorizes you. Who is this Joshua? Joshua? Yeah. Joshua is your uncle. He's the youngest brother to your father. And uh, by right, he's the eldest man in Udoka's dynasty. As I can see, evidently, your, your mother did not tell you about that. No. It's an omission. I've not heard of him before. But where is he now? Joshua is a teacher at Ukuluku, a town many kilometers away from here. My brother. I hope the reason you woke me up from my siesta is worth it. Of course it is. But I hope you are now wide awake. I hope you are wide awake. Please listen to me carefully. The King of Kings has arrived in Okofia. If you see him in Gedelegu, Synthesizer. If he sees his body and what he's putting on, it will shine like the morning star. Thank you, Ruka. My brother. Shut up. When did he arrive? This afternoon. But he happens to be your cousin. What? How can that be? His name is Mabweza Agui Udoka. The son of your late uncle, Ruben Omodenjo Udoka. Where is he this instant? At Ogugwa's house. I'm going there. Please, my dear, try and apply diplomacy. Apply diplomacy. What is the problem? What is the problem? Where is he? Where is who? Hey, so your spies have been at work? 
Ah, I can see. The person you are looking for has left my house. And I don't know where he has gone. My dear. I do not know why you choose to have all these opportunists in your house and welcome them. It attracts their consequences. But in any case, more to the point. I gave you 72 hours to submit a list of requirements for kingship. What happened? 72 hours to give you the list? Mm -hmm. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. You are not in a position, my dear son, to ask for such a list. According to the Okofia tradition, Joshua comes first. Mwabeze comes second. In the hierarchy of the kingship of Okofia lad. Therefore, please, let us follow due process. You can dialogue with them. So, you know, when your tongue don't run in your mouth, let me tell you the real process. Yes. I'm going to give you some more time. Get the list to me. Otherwise, things should begin to happen. Mm. Sir, so I try to treat him with me. You don't know. They are selling of Okofia land. Hmm? Listen, old man. Men like me don't threaten. They just cause things to happen. Mm. Okay. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Yeah, the name is Mabuaza Agui Udoka. The only son of the first son of the Udoka dynasty. Ah, Mabuaza, I could hardly recognize you. You've grown so big. To God be the glory for this. Especially bearing in mind that a lot of people never wanted me to leave at all. Um, this palace is not as well maintained as I would have loved it to be. Anyway, everything will be taken care of when I shall ascend the throne. Mm -hmm. By the way... Yes? Your son is not at home, is he? As you can see, he is not at home. Please, do kindly tell him to let go of my structures that he has stopped from operating in his own interest. Have a nice day. King of Kings. King of Kings. King oh. of Kings. Gosh, so arrogant. It's my daughter. That's the Udokas for you. It runs in your blood. I'm not disturbed by all this. 
to think he walked into this palace, said all he said, and walked us scot free? Okadibo, I have already explained how it all happened to you. Do you not understand that there was no way anyone would have known that he was the so called king of kings? Oh, please, mother, stop using tattoos like that for him. Tattoos like that don't exist, which means sick. Sweetheart, stop. You're overreacting. I'm overreacting? Eh, Caroline? I'm overreacting. A man walked into my palace and was talking about how he would break down the red structures to fit his rule. And I'm supposed to give him a standing ovation. My palace! Okaribo, let us get some things straight here. This palace belongs to your grandfather. The first Okofia of Okofia. Every descendant of his has a free access in it. And Nuabese is no exception. So, let all this what we're drumming up for you not get you carried away from realities. Do I make myself clear here? Excuse me. <laughs> My lord! Crystal mother. Okay, you This is a very serious and delicate issue. And we have to handle it very carefully. As I can see, this thing will cause a very serious problem in Doka's family. Therefore, we should handle this thing as soon as possible and with dispatch. Delay is dangerous. Indeed, yeah. we all have an understanding of the problem. Now, the best thing to do is to look into its solution. What is the way forward? Um, I suggest that we summon the three contenders, I mean the three of them, for a meeting where we will make it clear to them that the kingship is in order of seniority. Mbo Aurea. It's not as simple as you think. They are not likely to back them simply because we have advised them on the matter. They will simply think that Joshua has found a way to have taken us over to himself. Nkiruka, I think you have a point there. Besides! There's no way, I can't even see any way, you can persuade Oka Dibo. Oka Dibo. There's no way you can persuade him now into walking away from his father's throne. No way. Nietzsche, let us remember that Mwagwezi has made it abundantly clear that as the first son of Okovia, the second, who is the first son in the second generation? It is his right to be king. His due right. His due right to be king? Yes, his due right. Now, let us arrange for, for a meeting to be held at the groove of SMO of Okovia. And then, there's a more who sees his spirit will now break the news and tell them himself. Yeah. That is good idea. That is good idea, Ogogwa. Everyone knows that neither the gods nor their chief priest can be influenced. Yes. I am prepared to cooperate. I concur. Right. Now, let us conclude on a date. We shall have the meeting and uh, break ourselves into delegations that will go and see the contenders. Mm. Tell them what we have decided. Very well. We'll go. We'll go. That is good. Very well. I am willing to cooperate. Well, of us are glad that we will be Thank you, my people. Thank you, my kingdom is turned into three different parts. Oh, what a
Please, I'm looking for one Joshua Udoka. But I know who you are. My name is Nwabueze Udoka. Hey, Mabese, is that you? Hey, I'm Joshua, your uncle. Oh, hey, I'm glad to see you. Sir. Hey, you are welcome. Thank you. Sir. Hey, please sit down. Um, sit down, man. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Hey, Mabese. Um, hey. Your yes. How is your mother? Um, my mother died long time ago. Oh, oh, hey. no, it's okay. She lived hey. a fulfilled life. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hey, please, can, can we go in? No, 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 no. I, I prefer here. You know, yeah. Here is very airy and sweet. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Hi, what is it? Yes, sir. Um, uh, Uncle, I came to discuss something with you. Okay. It's about the kingship of uh, Okofia. Yes, yes. The crown has come to you. That is true. Uncle, you know, we both know that you are now advanced in age. And such a task given to an old man will be too burdensome for him. You. you know, you cannot utilize it. I have a dream to transform this community into a modern world. I can only do that effectively if I am on the throne. Leave this kingship for me. Compensation. If you leave this kingship for me, all this will be yours. And you would have left poverty all your life. What is it? Uncle. I have decided not to take offense. Because I consider you as a son of mine. As a matter of fact, Okofia throne is not for sale. Uncle, why not give this a considerable thought first? That will change nothing. In fact, it is one of the negative things we the surviving members of Udoka family must stamp out. This grasping selfish attitude that has driven us and Okofia backwards. I have nothing more to say. <clears throat> Goodbye. King of Kings, King of Kings, King of Kings. A delegation from the Enters Castle. Open this gate. As you know. Open it. No. Open this gate. No. What is the matter? We are a delegation from the Elders Council. We have a message which we must deliver to your master. Yes. If he does not get the message, the consequences of it are the fullness of time. You will regret it. Oh, but come on, get me. It is when we let you in that will happen. Besides, my colleague is working according to instruction. Come, let's go. Huh? Huh? Look at these boys. I'm looking. What do you think I'm doing? Well, well mm, I've heard all you said. Uh, I was not really angry with him. I just did not like the way he tried to buy me with his money. By sending reasonable men like you, he uh, shows he has 
a good head on his shoulders. <laughs> yes, we thank you, sir, for sitting down to listen to what we have to say. Knowing you has been a pleasant experience. <laughs> that also is an important ingredient to this amicable discussion. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, well, sir, um, I think we have to leave now. As you can see, the time is no longer our friend. I see. I see. Uh, I'm afraid we we are not used to the road. I mean, we've been familiar with the road, you know, and so we have to park our car down the road I see. to avoid getting lost by all these <laughs> young boys. You know <laughs> what I mean? Well, well, well. Uh, there's no problem. Not to worry. I will show you the right way. Oh, oh my God! Kind of Most you, sir. Yes, sweet sorry, boy. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, thank you, sir. Yes. Hey, oh. my God, we really bless you. <laughs> no, that's no problem. <laughs> you need to know my God. <laughs> you need to know my God. <laughs> what a beautiful angel you Ah, have don't here. flatter me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going <laughs> back to this village again. Are you uh, sure? Yeah. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> As we are talking now, you might even have returned. Oh, oh. Eh? please, my let it be so. I don't do the time. You will be so. Please, my let it be so. You will return. Ah, yes. Stop crying. Please cry, Mommy. You must start before. And go to now. Huh? I be mean, those people did they say let me go and look for him. <laughs>
in this village. Eh? Nobody said they saw him this night. Where must he be? Wait. Those two men. What was it? Does it mean they went to Kofia this night? I want to look for him in that Kofia. Oh, but he doesn't stay out like this. Ah. Do not worry so much, my daughter. Your father must be found. Trust me on that. But when? Right? When in my when? Hey. Since yesterday. Hey. Have I not told you that there's no way crying there was some problem in your father? Some people miss for hours. Some for some to hours. Now, let me tell you. There is no power on earth. So, Kiruka, is that so? Of course. Ogugwa himself told me. Hey. And Joshua's daughter overheard some of her father's discussions with the men. And they seem to be emissaries sent by Mwabweze. It is unbelievable. But that is the bitter truth. It is unbelievable. It's the bitter truth. It's the bitter truth. Because it seems Mwabeze has gotten rid of Joshua to clear his road to the throne of the real obstacles now. Mm. Yes. Zerube, mm -hmm. I still cannot believe it. <sighs> Mazizi, mm -hmm. the facts are there. People are disappearing every day. King of Kings, King of Kings, King of Kings. That looks like like Mwabeze. Huh? Eh? Hey, if that is Mwabeze, then he will not meet me here. What? Be there. However, it's regarding the case of the disappearance in your community. That's what I'm here for. You are welcome, officer. Can you shed any light on the case, please? Well, officer, the only thing I can piece together from what I know of the disappearance is that both are from the same man. Can you explain? Please, listen to me very carefully. Okay. You see, we, the elders of the land, mandated Mokolo to take a message to Mwabweze's house. He went with the message, but never returned. And the people Joshua saw off and eventually disappeared had been sent by Mwabweze. Explain something to me, please. Were they sent by war place, or did they say they were sent by war place? That's what they said. Anyway, that'll be all for now. We really appreciate your assistance. They don't mention. If you have any other information that will help us in this investigation, please do not hesitate to call my office. Definitely I will. I shall take my leave here. Thank you for calling. Thank you, my pleasure. Come rain, come sunshine. What will be, will be. Come rain, come sunshine. 
What will be will be. Come rain, come sunshine. What about Okadibo? He has not returned home. Uh -huh. Mama. Yes. Something very strange happened today when you were not around. What was that? A queer looking man. He came into this palace today with a young boy naked to his waist. He even had beads all around his neck. Who abides here? Whoever abides here, hear this. Of Yanuku, the goddess of might, health, and wealth. The goddess of Okofia is weeping. Okofia is smelling the smell of death. And the stench emanates from the house of Udoka. Let this house remove the hand of monkey from the soup before it becomes the hand of a man. Okoyalite. What? That must have been the SMO. My God. Mama, he also mentioned the house of Udoka. And he said that the smell is coming from within. <laughs> Caroline, this is serious. I must have to see the know right away. <laughs> Is there more come to the palace? Yes. I said all these things. Yes, oh no. Hey. We must find the answer quickly. This is a bad omen. I know. And that is why I decided to come to you. You did well, my daughter. You did well, guess it. I learned your father is missing. So I came to offer my help. Please, if there is in any manner that I can... Just, just, just hold it there! Hold it right there! Just hold it there! Hey! Imagine! You kidnapped my father! Then you come here to come and offer me, Dorothy, help! Hey! Insult! Look at him! Just look at him! Ha! Dorothy! That Dorothy me! Don't just Dorothy me! Don't do that to me! Coward! Just let me know you don't look at you! Eh? I even thought you came here to come and even give me apologies and promises to bring him back! And you are here pretending like you don't even know what happened! Oh yeah! Out! Oh, so, so, so! Get out! Before I call my neighbors! Out, 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 out! Look at him, look at him, look, 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 look! Come rain, come sunshine! What will be, will be! Come rain, come hey. sunshine! What will be, will be. Come rain, come sunshine. Okay, Dibu. Please, just relax. The word of the elders, the word of the wise. Cool down. Do you know that everyone has begun to avoid him? And you know what that means for his ambition? Of course. Now, this is a most interesting development, huh? More interesting ones are just cropping up. Just this morning, as if they told me that the other day they were going home from my house, they saw Wabuze's fleet of cars approaching. You know what they did? No. They fled into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> they did what? They fled into the bush. Osota. Nah. You don't tell the white man Kedu, he will not understand you. Unless he says, Hi, good day, good morning, or good afternoon. Can you cool down for me? Cool down. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you. How are you doing? Officer. Yes. Have there been any news about my father? Right now, I don't have anything substantial to give to you. But rest assured, we're working very hard on this case. Well, there's another thing. What is it? You know you told me to report any further development around me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Anything? Yesterday evening, Prince Wabuzi came to visit me. I thought you have something different. We know. You know. Of course. We have 24 hour surveillance on him. 24 hours. He can't make a move we don't know. My man, their eyes on him. But what did you come to do? 
He came to offer his support. And what did you tell him? I told him off. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. Dogger, I really appreciate the manner in which you came to inform me about this situation. I really appreciate it. Do not hesitate to come any moment if there's any changes, okay? All right. Well, as you can see, I have a meeting I have to attend. I'm sorry, I'm going to give you all the time that you No problem at all. I'll be on my way. Thank you for your time. father of this erring child. No, what does it mean? Back off here. Yeah. Eh? Speak to your child. Eh? Who puts his own hand into the fire? Yeah. Keeps looking around for another that compels him to do it. Speak to your child. Eh? Hey. Hey. No. more came to the palace, right? Mm -hmm. I understand. The point is, so what? I'm late. Sit back. Okay, you go. Okay, you go. Do you not understand the gravity of Ezemo coming to this palace? Okay, you go. Okay, you go. Elders of our land, I greet you. Oh no. no. I'm troubled. I'm very much troubled. Just as we are recovering, from the disappearance of Mokolo, Joshua disappeared. Hey! Go to Liba. And to make the matter worse, the great seer, Ezemo, the chief priest of Ofianuhu, has made an outing. Hmm? What do we do? <coughs> oh no! From what you have told us, that the chief priest said, yes. I think that the problem is from within. Mm. But why don't we stop beating about the bush? Mm. Let me tell you the truth. If a child sees an insect with a sting, just like the scorpion or whatever, or the dragonfly, and plays with it, it's looking for trouble. From all indications, I agree. Every pointer is pointing at Wabueze. So why don't we consider how to deal with him squarely instead of this dealing and dealing? I totally disagree with you. Go ahead, go ahead and disagree. It is true. We have seen all we have seen. But it is too early for we to go after him. Just like that. If you kill a leech upon the body of a dog, you show it to him. Yes. Yes. Let us gather enough proof before we can go further in the manner you suggest. Boy, we here. Ah 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 ah. I totally agree with you. No. Ha. Oh no. <sighs> From what I can see of this problem, yes. the only alternative we have is to pressure the Udoka family to hold a meeting mm -hmm. within themselves yes. and resolve this problem once and for all. No. Once and for all. Well, when Ugeze came to Alaska, 
That was what I and her concluded that. That she should persuade her son to hold a meeting with her nephew with the aim of getting to the bottom of this issue. We have already agreed on that. So let's pray for her. Finish. Uh -uh. I copy her. Easier said than Oh no. Oh no. So that's why I'm here. Let us bury our hatchets and discuss amicably. Otherwise things will continue to be worse. That's true, Obese. In fact, our minds are working alike. That was what I concluded with the know when I carried my visit. But everything depends on you and your card. As you can see, I'm also interested in a meeting. Just discuss with your card. Whenever you fix an appointment, just call me. Very well then. I shall take my leave now. Aren't you staying for lunch? No, thanks. Have a pleasant day. Bye bye. King of Kings! King of Kings! <sighs> I know, but I can't do anything contrary to the law. The law must test its cause. You take the message to your prince and tell him we are working very hard on this case. That's what I have for him. Thank you. You can leave. So, mom, that's why I summoned you. As it stands now, all you need is support and understanding from everyone around you. I shall always be around to give you encouragement and advice. Do you understand? Yes, Papa, I do. And if there's anything you don't understand, or you require words of advice, please, you're free to call on me. If people like me are around, and with you in this situation, without helping you. Remember, I'm a father and an elderly person. Then you know that the world is coming to an end. Thank you, Papa, for your words of encouragement. There's no need thanking me, my dear. So how are things generally? If we go near me. Take hands. Mama. Kadibu, oh. you're back. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. How was your day? Splendid. How was yours? Mine went well. Mabeze was here. Mabu who? Mabeze. He came to discuss with you, but I was the person that he met. I agree with his opinion that the fate of this land lies on the shoulder of the two of you. Is that so? Yes, my son. 
He asked me to discuss with you. So that an appointment could be fixed for the two of you to have a meeting. Mama, you want me to have a meeting with the devil? Okadi. He only has the progress and peace of a coffee at heart. Peace and progress. Coffee. That thing. Mama, it's you they're using to lure me out now, eh? You want him to make me disappear the way he made Joshua disappear like that? What for? Why is he trying me? I'm too strong for him now. Okadibo. Like I said earlier, what does he meant no harm? He only has the peace and progress of our coffee at Mama, don't you see? Can't you read between the lines? You want me to have a meeting with that one? Why, why is he so ignorant he's trying me? Too strong for him now. Want me to go and have a meeting with that kidnapper so I will disappear. No oh, way. I will make I will defeat him before he makes him. You can't try me. This young man wants to see you. Hey. So, yeah. Mama. Mama. She's the one. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. I have to be on my way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Actually, I was just coming from your house. He was bringing me to come and see you. Hey. Yeah. But no problem. There's no problem. My name is Idimogo Ikedinobi. I am the emissary of a great man. A great man who desires to meet you. And who is that great man? Prince Okadibo of Okofia. <sighs> okay. I'm just coming from my friend's house, eh? Tell him I will come and see him. Let me get home, huh? Very well done. Hmm. Dorothy. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, okay. Listen, I sent Ike Dinobi to call you because I feel that you must not bear the brunt of your father's disappearance all alone. Now, I know your father and I did not enjoy the most cordial of relationships. However, this is a time when family must stick together like glue. <laughs> I thought my father was an impostor. Is he not a family member? Mm. Listen. You see, beliefs are related. As of that time, your father presented himself to me in a somewhat awkward way. Hmm? Highly suspicious. I thought his primary motive then was the throne. Therefore, you had him thrown out of the palace, right? My dear, you need to cool down. Okay? Let me explain something. We're not here. It's not a question and an answer session. It is to let bygones be bygones. Unfortunately, it is those same bygones that influences the year to come. I thought you may have news about my father's whereabouts. I can see I made a wasted journey. Mm. Listen, Doc. Hmm? I'm being in a hurry. Let me explain to you. You see, you read too many books. It doesn't work that way in the real world. I'm that man that can see one word, but life will improve immensely. I'm also that man that can see one word, and your life will be beyond you. So think carefully. It's not wise to walk out on me. Mm. Life changer. Just sit down there. I see me achieve this one. Okay. The same stubbornness I got your father where he is to take you to where you're going to. I do not understand the chief. But I want these disappearances to stop. Mwabezi. Both disappearances are suspected to be handwork. It was your house that Ichi and Wokro was sent to, and they never returned. The people who kidnapped Joshua said. 
They have been sent by you to broker peace between the two of you. What? I never heard of these before. Just glares, horrid whispers, veiled accusations. Mokolo never got to my house. Otherwise, my boys would have told me. And I never sent anyone to Joshua's house to broker peace. So nobody had told you about all these suspicions? No. Not even in Kiruka, who I just finished seeing in his house. Um, Ichi, I shall be on my way now. It's okay. King of Kings. King of Kings. Oh no. Things are getting worse and worse. They've even begun to refuse me access to the house. What? Refusing access to the palace of the broken dynasty. And this has led me to a decision. If I go to the palace again and my access is denied, I will not hesitate to bring in the police into this matter. The police? Oh, my son. Before you take any rash action, pause and ponder. So that you'll be sure, be very sure of what they're doing. Case. Oh no, the entire suspicion hangs over my head and I have to clear my name. I am here to inform you, as the know-who of the land, to give you that privilege and honor. I've already informed the other Ichiyas one by one. Thank you very much. But all I can say is that at the darkest hour, the light will appear. I am very hopeful, as you know, I'm very, very hopeful that all these things will end up very peacefully. Precisely why I go to the palace in the first place. Well, it's getting late. I shall beg to take my leave. I've met that man a few times. He seems quite harmless to me. Harmless? So what do you expect from Caroline? You expect him to walk down the street with a placard on his head that says, um, I'm a kidnapper. My lord. Uh -uh. No, 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 I'm serious. Don't approach me with this topic ever again. That's it. So the girls are ready. I'm aware of that fact, but the thing is that I cannot come and see you tomorrow. My late father left a lot of business concerns, and as the first son of the family, I need to run things before. Of course, of course. So all this is because Zumwabu has been to see you. Listen, fine. If it's like that, I'm going to send my person to come and see you tomorrow. Whatever my person blesses you with, please. Bless her back by calling me to show signs of appreciation and then we'll take it from there. Don't worry, I know you're worth it. There's no, there's no big deal, man. Eh? Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, you know. Yes, my friends. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you a very large parcel to go and see the chase if you Make sure you see my home. Okay? That's my friends. I know that after this, he's going to shift his support to our camp. Probably one person might have offered him one or two things. I want to double it. In fact, triple it. Here you go, the Brazil. Or where you go, let us begin to spend it. How can you go? That it threw some of your past. Well, it cheers if 
after the conversation he had with my friends on phone, he sent me to deliver this message to you. And what is that? Cheers, Ife. Yes. A message came to my prince that Mwabeze came here to bribe you with money. So he decided to double up whatever <laughs> amount he gave to you. You see, this is it. You can have it. There is more to it than what you may think of it. It is a pity your prince did not make inquiries about me before sending you on this useless venture. I have five sons. Each is a professional in different parts of the world. Each commands a degree of financial power. You are prince can only dream of. Cheers, Ife. Does it mean you are trying to turn down the offer from my prince? No, my son. I merely try my best to make you understand that these circumstances in which I live is my choice. I am not a hungry person. Huh? Very well, sir. Why are you handling my gate, man? Who are this man? Who are you? What are you doing here? From my observation, you must be your cardinal. That hardly answers my question, Mr. Observer. Point of correction, my friend. My name is Mabweze Agui Udoka, the King of Kings. King of Kings. You know, I brought this thing here to show you that you're too small to stop me from coming into Doka Palace. Next time you try this, there will be consequences. <laughs> I shall await your consequences. Very well then. I shall see. Then we will have much more attendance. And you get your lean retarded ass back to the gate. Yeah. Well, what I come back for? The person that will carry you or the one that will kill you. Move! If it is what they want, they will get war. Definitely. Okay, okay, talk and listen. I understand. I understand, my son. You have to continue working hard. You understand me? You know, that war is not easy. Life is not easy. Daddy, all these things I know. I mean, I was thinking you called me to tell me something more important. How? Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Sorry, sir. We, we are looking for. Ogogwa's house. Yes. I'm Chief Ogogwa, the owner of Okofiala. What can I do for you? Come in and sit down. Uh, no, no, no problem, no, no problem, sir. <laughs> no problem. Sir, uh, we are from A Division, sir. Um, actually, um, Inspector Oladere requested you come with us to the station. Mm. Anything wrong? <laughs> no problem, sir. Like I said before, um, it's just that one prince. Mabeze Udoka came to the station saying something about denial of uh, 
access into the palace. Yes, 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 yes. Ah. Is it now or later? Immediately, sir. Immediately? Yes, sir. Oh, fair enough. Uh, Sunny. Yes, daddy. Let me follow them. Take care of yourself. Let me follow them. Okay. I'll be back very soon. With this little token, I hope it will help you to cope with the inconveniences his disappearance may have caused you. Please accept my sympathy. Mabese, what do you take me for? I'm asking you, Mabese, what do you take me for? You are now taking my husband away. And now you, 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 you think you can come here and confuse me with this and dirty money, Mabese? <laughs> you are such a good schemer. Now tell me, how does it feel to inflict pain and pretend to sympathize with them at the same time? Hmm? The same way a few of us would feel if the truth about a few things were told. Goodbye. Do not conclude. Cause God has the final say. Man who possess, but God disposes. You might say a word, but cannot fulfill it. And that's why I keep telling you, my men did not go to your house to get your father, either for questioning or arrest. As far as I'm concerned, this division has nothing to do with those men. No, 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 wait, 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 officer. What am I about to get clear? Are you trying to deny the fact that you are Inspector Oladele? I am! I am Inspector Oladele and you must have to believe me. I'm telling you, those men are not from this office. Please, you have to believe me. As far as this division and this office is concerned, I'm supposed to know if anybody goes up no, for no, any no, wait, question wait, 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 wait. or arrest. I'm wait, telling you, wait, believe wait. me. But let me ask you a question. Those men, were they in the uniform? Yes, of course. Oh my God. From the and English. they stated your name clear. They said they were from this division and as far as I'm concerned, you can't deny the fact that those men were not from you. There's something fishy going on. My father can't get missing like that. No, I can't take it. Sam, no, no, no. See, officer, I just can't take it. You see, any other thing be, but my father can't get missing as far as I'm concerned. Calm down. We will get to the bottom of this. Let's then do something about it. Cobra! Jesus. See, officer, you have to do something. We'll about it. My father can't be missing. Calm down. We'll get to the bottom of this. Then do something, calm officer. Down. Please, calm down. Well had the young man. And from what I decipher, this is also connected to Mabweze. He has threatened to involve the police if Okadibu continues to deny him access to the palace. He told me so. He mentioned it to me. The morning after the evening he made that threat. As I was going to the palace, I saw Mwabeze's car speeding down a village path. Then I suspected that something wrong has happened. And as I got to the palace, I asked Okadibo if it was from there that Mwabeze's car was coming from. And he confirmed that he, Okadibo, has denied Mwabeze access to the palace. Mm. It seems that Mwabweze has made good his threat to involve the police. Oh. But they came for the wrong person. Chineke. Nobody is safe. Oh. That's it. Exactly. Ngiruka. No. Mazezife. Anam. Anam. Hello. Where from you?
Where for me? I'm going with you. Uh, they are living in a hall. I was even arranging some drinks and cola not for them. Is this man the first house? Yes, it is. I am his daughter. Good. I want to see him. Let me go in and tell him. Where's the maker? Um, he's in the vehicle. I heard you discussing with some people I said, who are they? Yes, Papa, it is the police. They said they want to see you. No one in the sight.
No, I don't think so. But I'm afraid his men will come back. He kidnapped Mrs. Ukechi. What? Mrs. Ukechi is gone? My dear. Is it? That means she's going to disappear like others. My dear. Hey, why shouldn't he be she even wrong? Papa, please, my brother, he came to our school today, Papa. Hey, did he take anybody? Huh? You ran away. He took one of our, one of our teacher, Mrs. Sinke. She is always after who is wrong and who is right. That teacher is gone. Some for I'm you. hungry, Papa. Come, 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 come. Ukechi, I brought you here to ask you a question. Yes, yes, I can understand that because a chief that was sent to me disappeared without even having set foot in my house, people tend to uh, uh, avoid me. But has it gotten to the point where an entire school, which happens to belong to me, would run at my mere presence? The Onowu himself has disappeared. And his disappearance also links to you. How? He was taken away by the police a day after you threatened to bring them in at a large scale. And everybody has heard about it. The news is everywhere. Well, I beg to take my leave. Thanks for your trouble. King of Kings, King of Kings, King of Kings, King of Kings. I don't like the spectacle that I cause. But I have to meet with your son. But I was of the impression that the two of you met the other day. What we had was not a meeting. It was a confrontation. Mm. And neither of us was near enough to a mood necessary for an amicable discussion of that magnitude. As you can see, he's not at home now. But what is it? Do you in any way have a hand in the police taking the honor away? No, I did not carry out my threat, but I'm discovering that it was successfully used to whisk the honor away. I shall take my leave now. Have a nice day. Single soul? Yes, sir. It became as though we were ghosts. Everybody was running away from us. 
You mean you tell me in the entire village, not even one person? They were all running, sir. This is getting serious. Indeed, sir. Not even one person. You may take a leave. I think it's high time to begin to make preparations for who is to be stalled as they all know. And looking left and right, I should think I'm the most rightful person. And if you install me as you know, you'll be helping yourself. Do you know why? why? It is I who shall walk towards crowning you. And I have been one of your most ardent supporters, haven't I? Well, it mm -hmm. goes without argument. Um, incidentally, this morning I was discussing with my servant, Ike Dinobi. Ike Dinobi. Yes, bordering the same issue. So. Yes, we came to a conclusion of sorts, but um, we have a little fear. If I install you as a no, won't that raise eyebrows, you know, considering the precarious nature of our kingdom right now? It will not. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. it's the most needed thing now. So that we can stem the affairs and then put back order into the affairs of Okofia. Don't forget to know who is the traditional prime minister. Whatever I tell the, the public, they will listen to me. That Igwe has said, he has said it. Okay. All right. It's, um, it's a most potent argument. Give when, me a little time. Let me make people. No, no, no. How can you tell me? When do we see again? Okay. Um, Say in the next couple of days, I must have combinated arrangements with ah, no, That's all right by me. Yeah. That's all right. Cheers, everything. Thank you for coming. I wanted to see you. Mm -hmm. Sit down, my son. Mm. I overheard you in the afternoon discussing with your servant, Ike Dinobi, about installing an Ono. Well, yes, um, that is why I wanted to see you, amongst other things. You see, I, I feel um, this town needs a new Ono. Things are a little stagnant around here now, and. Um, I felt in that order to install um, Ichie in Kiroka as the new or no. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you, in case you don't know, because I know you don't know, Okovia began many, many years ago. And in the history of Okovia, it has never happened. I will advise you to discard any plan of installing an Ono. Why? <laughs> because only a king can install an Ono and you are not yet one. To install Ichi and Kiruka as an Ono is to do so at your own peril. I have spoken. Good night. is on the balance. Okyanuku, the goddess of Okofia, announces that in a few market days, 
the sun shall see the holes in the earth, and the of your people will appease it after all has become calm. Okay, I leave you. Go inside then. Welcome, Robinson. Feel comfortable. Thank you, Chi. Um, Chi. What I've come to discuss will be of mutual benefit to us. I'm interested in the drone, yes. But I'm also interested in making you a very important person. What are you suggesting, my boy? I want to enrich you. This is ten thousand dollars. Dogini, if you translate this to Naira, it will be one point two five million Naira. Me? Million. Thank you. Million. What do I do with it? Is it my own? It's here. What is it? I want you to help me get into the throne first. And in return, I will make you the unknown. Understand me. Mm, I understand you, always. But suppose I become the you know first through any other means, then help you into the kingship. <laughs> Even better. That was how I discovered that if I install anyone as a no, Ophir Nuku will kill me. Says who? Says who? It bears absolutely no consequence at the moment. The yeah. point is that it is the truth. You must fulfill the promise you made me, Okadibo. I don't believe in the more you look, the less you see. Never. At the risk of my life? 
do not know the consequence of this your decision now. And what do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. And good day. Don't play on my intelligence. King Kiruko, you dare to walk out on me? Who are buyers here? I speak to you. The fate of Okofia has been sealed. The crown of a king from Udoka's family is imminent. Okofia, that is Okofia, hear me. Amazing please do not um, perceive me as being impolite. For I know no one speaks to you directly. But um, Joshua is not here. And Wabweze is already under suspicion. So who really is going to be the king? Ask no question. Time will tell, son of Udoka. Oh, I see the king already about to receive his crown. Okay, Alite. The king that the SM must speak about is no other person but you. Huh? It can neither be Joshua or Wabez. No. They're out of the question here. But you know, I was still hoping he would pronounce a name to seal it finally. But I know how they speak. There's no other person in this context for me. I know. I'm the king that will be crowned. <laughs> Caroline. Yes, my lord. Sweetheart, I want you to go straight to um, Ichen Kiroka's house. Summon him to the palace. I need to know what that's going to have come in properly. You understand? All right, my lord. Okay. But I can't wait for that day. That day, the entire Okofia will know why I call him against me. <laughs> ma, ma, ma. My lord, isn't Nkiruka a loyalist? Yes, he is. Is a problem? I saw the King of Kings in his house today. Did he give you my message? Yeah, I did. Fine. Let him come then. Hold it very well. Oh. I'm walking in the trippy so you understand what to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You 
You are the true son of your father. I knew you wouldn't let him get away. That's what your father would have done. Hmm? And I know that someday you're going to be a great partner. How can you go, my son? This is how it should be. Your crowning is already in your head. So take no nonsense from anyone. And when I mean anyone, Anybody? Do I make myself clear? Hey! It's your key No! Hey, let me look at this piece of my car. Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, Give me my regards. Oh, my God! 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 Abomination! Arrow! Oh God, you cannot do more kids. I know, I know. But what about the safety of you and your children? You can't go like that now. Be cool, be cool. Safety. It is better we risk our lives than to live in the grace in this place. Eh? We can talk about this. Let's go. Respectful thing for Kadibo to do. That small boy, does he have any respect for his elders? In this world? <laughs> well, for all I know, he has beaten the fingers that fed him. But I promise him one thing I shall repay him in his own coin. My message to Kadinobi should have gotten to its destination by now. Who is Ikedinobi? Ikedinobi, come in. Ikedinobi, you're welcome. Good evening, all. Good evening. Meet Mwabweze. Mwabweze, meet Ikedinobi. Please sit down. Thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> uh, he's Okadibu's right hand man. Mm. I've seen him with him once. <laughs> Ikedinobi. Ichi. I have always protected your interest, have I not? Yes, Ichi. And so, as an intelligent young man, I just want you to realize that the winds have shifted. Your master have Beat him more than he can chew. 
listen to me. Pay attention here. But this time around, you have to be on my side, or you will sink with him. So listen to me very carefully. What is here has promised that anyone who crosses over from Okadibu's camp to his will get 500,000 naira from he, Mabwesa. I said it. So, tell Mabwesa all of it as it is. Everything. Open your mouth. Talk. Talk. Talk to him. Well, sir. All the disappearances were arranged by my master and Ichen Kiruka. But I was always aware of everything. Even the one the police came to take the owner away away? Of course, sir. Sir, Ichen Kiruka here informed him of your threat to involve the police on a large scale. So, my master worked with it. He dressed up some of his hired men as police officers and went for Ichiogogo, the Ono. Is in the offing. I'm supposed to be at your father, first of all. My friend, keep quiet. What about you? Officer. Men like you is what we need in this community. And I promise you, I will use every resources within my power to bring Okalibo to justice. That I guarantee you. Some love for you guys. Huh? You, as old as you are, deal with you one after the other. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to die.
Doctor Gunnar, hands up. Doctor Gunnar, Doctor Gunnar, Yes, sir. Yeah. Hands up. You. Hey, take it easy, take it you. I said, get down. Hey, I will confess. Get down. I will confess. Hey. You. Hey, I will confess. I will confess. Confess what? Where is Wokolo? He's inside. Where is Wokolo? He's inside there. Come on, show me. Go. Take it easy, officer. I said, go. I said, go. Hey. Why are you holding the news? What? This is um, you know what you do? See, see, cut the Wait, wait, take it to the other side. Take it to the other side. Boss, I can't even myself. This is your sudden trip that you never mentioned to anybody, not even your wife. I hope all is well. Mama, all is well. It's a business meeting. Um, my partner's from London called. I'm supposed to attend this board meeting tomorrow afternoon, so I need to leave to catch up. And you never mentioned it to your neighbor. It was a quick meeting. Did I know this meeting was coming up? Huh? Okay. It's a business meeting. Anything proper? Right. You're ready? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Huh? May the good Lord grant you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Mama. Let's go. Do not conclude. Mama, Lisa, let's go. Has the final say. Run the buzzes. But God disposes. You might say a word, but cannot fulfill it. Mana chukukwe, oi hokuruge me. I'll be out. I know who I am. Listen, listen to me. Listen, don't be a fool. How much did they pay you anyway? Sir? Leave Shut me up. Up. Listen, how much did they pay you? How much did they pay all of you? One million each. Don't worry about it. I'll be out I'll be before you know it. I own this town. I said, shut up. I own this town. This is it for you. You fool. You don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know. Shut up. I can change your life. I can change your life. All of you. Do nothing. It is money. I have too much of it. Listen, listen. 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 Listen.
ndo wasi alika alika Uche chupu gemele Ebu zina chukuzo Iho ukuru gemele Good evening, guys. My brother. Joshua. Um, uh, take, take heart, young girl. Why are you crying? And what happened? Where is your husband? <laughs> Do you know that it was a cardi that was kidnapping everybody? The police has arrested him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. How did you know how to go about it all? Uncle, I observed that your disappearance and all other disappearances were targeted at painting my reputation black. I knew it wasn't me, so it had to be your cardibo. Yes, yes, yes. So, I watched him very carefully and noticed that the only elder that was really close to him was in Kiruka. So I came after in Kiruka with the two things that he wanted out of the whole thing. Money and the Onowu position. He hasn't been able to get it from Okadibu. <laughs> so he let me know everything. <sighs> I owe you my life. Oh God, to God be the glory. Mwabeze, now hear me out. I have a decision to make. Since I have nothing to repay you with, I have decided to let you be the king. <laughs> Uncle, thank you for this kind gesture, but I shall not accept it. It is your due. And you taught me that we have to learn to stamp out this negative, selfish grasping of power. In our coffee, we have to learn, for once, to do things decently and in order. Maybe, one day, it may please God to make me the king of kings. King of but for now, you are king the king. Of kings. Please take king it. Of
Thank you.